Hi all, this is Technology Lowdown. This video will show you how to encrypt a USB drive or external hard drive. Today I will walk you through two options, one which is built into Windows 10 Professional and above, which is BitLocker, and secondly VeraCrypt, which is an open source uh, drive encryption uh, tool that you can use on Windows, Mac and Linux, as well as several NAS devices. So why is it a good idea to encrypt your storage? Well, simply, many people still use a USB hard drive and flash drive for backups, um, and as a result, often end up carrying sensitive information around. Flash drives and portable hard drives are particularly easy to lose, so encryption locks access to your files by preventing unauthorized access to your data without the decryption key. So let's begin with BitLocker and then VeraCrypt. So, a BitLocker requires Windows 10 Professional or better, and quite simply, it's just a matter of having some storage or USB drive which you can use. So, in my case, I have Storage E. It currently has one file on it, but that's okay, because with BitLocker, we can just turn this feature on at any point in time. To turn it on, we just right click the drive that we would like to encrypt and select Turn on BitLocker. Um, a window will appear. And after it scans through initially, it will prompt us to enter in a password. Um, just a note on BitLocker, Microsoft has no official application for Mac OS. However, if you do some Googling, you can find tools which you can use to read a BitLocker drive on Mac OS. BitLocker does integrate quite nicely with Windows, which is why if you're just using a USB on a Windows computer, Windows 10 and above, then sure, BitLocker is probably the best choice for you. Alright, so I'm just going to set a password here. Now, it's a pretty weak password I'm setting. In practice, you would set it to quite a strong password. I'm just setting a select password one exclamation mark. We'll go next here. And you have to save this. Um, so we'll just save a copy of the file. And this basically the last of the back door into that encryption um, if you forget your password. So I'm just going to save that somewhere and then go next. And default options are fine. And start encrypting. So this process takes a few, uh, about one to two minutes. But you'll see now that this USB drive has a padlock on it in my computer. And while that's running through, I might just uh, open up VeraCrypt, which is the second tool I'll be showing you today. So VeraCrypt, um, you can download it from veracrypt.fr, and then there's a couple of options. Options as an installer, or there's a portable version. Um, in practice, though, I would probably recommend the way we're going to set it up is we will create a file on a USB drive that is encrypted, which acts a bit like a zip folder in terms of the files that you put into it are all encrypted and to unlock that file you need the encryption key so ideally you would put a portable version of VeraCrypt on your USB drive and uh, then you've got the encrypted file also on that USB so you can use that portable file um, portable executable to decrypt your files so I might just go back and see if that is finished encrypting so it looks like it has. Um, so the way that this works is, I'll just remove this USB from the computer, and you'll see it disappears there. I'll plug it back in, and if you just take note, um, see there's a padlock there with a key in it? Well that means that the drive requires a password to be used, and that bit locker is actually turned on. So you can't actually see it at the moment because it's on another screen that I have here, but Windows is prompting me for a password, so I'll put that one in, and you'll see that padlock symbol changes to an unlocked padlock. Alright, so now I can access the files which are on that drive. And, um, yeah, it's clearly encrypted. So if you do actually want to turn off encryption, it's quite easy to do. Just right-click the drive, manage BitLocker, and then just select turn off BitLocker, and that will turn it off. So the second method I'm showing you is VeraCrypt. So if you've downloaded and installed that application, we'll just open up VeraCrypt now. Alright, so VeraCrypt is now open. Um, quite simply, it's a matter of going uh, volumes, then we want to create a new volume. 
And basically, this is the option we're going for, creating an encrypted file container, which, as I said, acts a bit like a um, uh, zip folder, in terms of you can put files into it. So we'll just uh, do standard VeraCrypt encryption, and this is where you set the location. So we will select uh, storage2. I'm just going to give it a non-descriptive name. Ideally, you wouldn't want to name it something like uh, passwords, because that would just be obvious to someone that it is encrypted or that it has sensitive information in it. So I'm just going to give it the name data. And default options are fine for encryption. And for the size, for the purpose of this activity, I'm going to make it pretty small because the larger the encrypted volume, the longer it takes to initially set it up. So I'm just going to go uh, 50 megabyte. And again, it asks us for a password. So I'll set a password. Um, and you can see that's the password I've set. Very weak. In practice, you wouldn't do that. So let's go next. And this is prompting you to say that it's a, a weak password. So yes, you should definitely set a strong password. So what the screen here is asking us to do is move the mouse cursor around um, on the screen. And what that does is it uses um, data from that mouse cursor to set the encryption on the USB. So you don't have to wait till this bar goes all the way to the end. You can skip past and click format. However, the longer that you uh, complete this activity with the mouse, the more secure that the drive uh, should be. Okay, so it's just uh, creating that file. It doesn't take too long. Alright, so that is finished, and we can just click exit now. Otherwise it goes back to the start of the wizard. So we'll just go uh, to File Explorer. So if we go into Storage 2, we'll see that we've got a file here. If we right-click it, can't really do anything with it. Um, so what you do is you go back to VeraCrypt. And this is how you open up that file and start using that encrypted file container like a zip folder. So you go to Volumes, and you want to go select File. And we will navigate to that Storage 2. Select the data file, and we'll just click on the Mount button. And now it is prompting us for that password that we set. Okay, so VeraCrypt has now loaded up, uh, saying that it's uh, uh, preparing to mount that one. Okay, so what it actually does is, it mounts it as another drive on your computer. So if we go back to this PC, we'll see that we now have local disk T, and um, it is 50 meg in size there. So if we go to that one, We've uh, now got an encrypted um, storage drive. So it's a new text file, and now that one is on that uh, encrypted file container, which is 50 meg in size. And yeah, it acts just like a zip folder. So when you're done using this, um, you can't actually eject it like you think that you could with um, manage eject. So to finish using it, go to VeraCrypt and just click dismount. And then once it's dismounted, no one can access the files within that container unless they uh, have that password, as we've described. So I hope this video has helped you in knowing how to encrypt your USB. If this video has been helpful, please like this, or if you would like to see more videos, please subscribe. Thank you.